Greetings and salutations, people. You have us among two, and welcome back to Pit People. Last time we left off, we had finally defeated Frostwaddle, and all of Molten Asia kind of just erupted. Now we're trying to get over to the, this quest over here, so we can do this. Oh, oh no, we're not dealing with that. Um, delivered in 15 minutes, or your orphans free? Just kidding. Slim Pickens. Welcome to Randall's dis Discount Orphanisms. Mr. Randall is busy. I am Slim Pickles. Slim Pickens. You, of course, are perfect for today's delivery. Um, are we are? Yes. To help me make an orphan to Wolfolds they've adopted recently, you see. Uh, uh, okay. But why not pick up their new kid themselves? Well, the Wolfids only come out at night, in the dark, and when we're closed. So, you've never seen them? No one has. They only come out at night, in the dark, when we're closed. Oh, right. Sorry. But their forms all check out. Wonderful penmanship. Turns out they've adopted a lot of orphans over the years. So, you're delivering the kid yourself. That's great service. Well, then what are we waiting for? To the den of the wolfets. All right, let's get away from let's get away from the red guy because we can't escape the red guy. Red guy will kill us. So, all right, and we got another quest over there, which we will get to once we get back. So, oh good, another red guy. So many red guys around here. It's insane. Um, screw you. And uh, oh, <laughs> I didn't even realize we we're carrying the orphan on our orphan on our back, and then. It's this guy. So many dead corpses here. Okay, we're here. Do we wait for dark now? Please tell me we aren't waiting for dark. No, I had strict on it's I had strict instructions to enter the pit alone. Well, you mean with the kid too, right? I uh yes, I assume that's what they meant. Farewell and thank you. Wow, that lucky kid, a whole den of wolfids is a raisin. True, it was kind of lonely at the castle. Only father, sister, and an army of servants. An actual army. It takes a village, Pip. Or sometimes a smelly fit full of wolfmen. Okay. I have a feeling there's more to this quest. But it, for now, we're just going to get another quest. Because more to this quest doesn't mean much when, uh, I don't know. There's a statue over there of a mushroom. Alright, so we got two quests here. Oh, hey. It looks like the same guy. And then we have a guy in weird glasses. Alright. It's scary story time at Camp Lookalike. Well, yeah, I definitely look alike, alright. And then find the mushroom answer and stop a ceremony. Um, I think I'll do Camp Lookalike first. Ooh, is he telling campfire stories? I think he's telling campfire stories. Hey, I know stories. True stories. But if you prefer a big fat liar telling big fat lies all day... Yosef, all your stories are about throwing axes. Oh, what's he going to do with that axe? Is he going to throw it? Is, is it going to hit every time? Yeah, here, I'm really good at throwing axes. I mean, hey, spoilers. Look. Let's just check out. Let check it out for a minute. Can't hurt. I mean, it can. It's a three star. Three star quest hurt a lot. At least it's five or four. Okay. And then she heard the scratching sound again. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Something was hanging from the tree right over a tent, and it looked just like this. Oh. Okay. Really? No reaction? I'm a monster here to eat you. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's the ending? I'm not sure how you being a monster makes sense, you know? It's in the context of the story. There are definitely some pacing issues here, too. Oh yeah, good point. That scratching part took forever. I'll give you pacing issues. <laughs> oh, see, that's much better. I am definitely scared now. 
Hmm, that's more like it. Huh? Who are you guys? Oh, nobody. Is the story over now? Not quite. Alright, Doppelgang, let's do this. Wait, you were all monsters? What a great twist. You really turned the story around. <laughs> oh, good. Just what we needed in life. An army of monsters. Good. Fantastic. Look at all this. <laughs> I don't get this whole stuff. Ow. Oh, good. He's confused, which means if he gets near anyone, he's going to hurt them. That's a good start. That's definitely a good start. So, let's try to keep people away from him. Dun, 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 dun. I love this song. Ah! Let's just, uh... We can deal with the zombies first. That'd be a good idea, yeah. He can stay in front, though. Yeah! There we go. It's going well. The extra crits on those babies is quite helpful. Oh, looks like slipper. Looks like the slasher dude is coming at us now. It seems slasher dude who wants to be the first wants to be the first to be killed by these two. It doesn't seem like Horatio is going to get anywhere in his current position, but it should be fine now. Yeah. Oh, good. Slasher man is unconscious and lost half his health. So that's a good start. Yeah, just, uh, keep doing what you're doing. You'll surely do damage eventually, trust me. Ow. Yeah, and the zombies are dead. <laughs> That's a good start. Uh, I can't move. I wanted to move Horatio this turn, but I won't be able to because he's now marked as an enemy, which is not good in the slightest, but hey, it's fine. Um, are you in range? Dude, yeah, you're in range. Okay. Everyone else is looking good. Yep. Oh, Pipistrell is taking a lot of damage, though, so... We're going to want to work on that. Ow. Alright. Um, Scrumptious, get in there. Um, you can start throwing bombs at the uh, octopus. That'd be great. Everything else is looking good so far. Ow. Yeah, everything else is looking good so far. Um, do kill him, please. Thank you. Yeah. We're doing damage. It's going well. Oh, we split up their team. Ow. That's not good. I need you over here. You can continue to throw bombs at him. I need you to throw babies at him. Um, yeah, you could actually, uh, double team. That sounds good to me. Yeah, and you're perfect, robot. Go! Yeah! Oh, you hit our team. You're not perfect. Oh, yeah, Pipistrella was confused. That's right. So she hit Horatio. Oh, joy. Okay, then. So, what we have here is a bit of a disaster. But it's fine. It, oh, and he's confused, too. So, what we have here is still a disaster. Come on! Yeah! We're tearing through their health slowly but surely. Oh, now they really don't like him. Okay, then. That's, that's fine. Alright, how's the healing going over here? Pretty good. See if we can get rid of these guys, though. And, uh... I don't know, you can help. Get rid of these guys, please. There we go. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> How's everyone doing health-wise? He missed entirely. Good. So, Scrumptious is pretty low. Well, Pipistrello's at half. Mustard's at half. 
Yosef is doing fine. So, um, you maneuver there. You can start hitting him. He'll be fine. You can maneuver uh, here. Here. And then you can hit him. This is looking good. This should end it. Well, end it. Yeah, that guy's dead. Good. Alright. I'm gonna have to maneuver Mustard away, though. Pipistrella looks like she's doing good on health again. Mustard is not any closer to leveling up. Pipistrella is getting closer to having some health again. Otherwise, this looks like it's gonna go... No, I need you away. Now. Just in case this uh, goes south. Alright. Okay, this looks good. Go! End it! Heal. Oh, don't. Yeah, don't hurt. Hit. There we go. We gotta level up. Sweet. Is it over? That is the last time I go camping with total strangers. <laughs> Alright, so camping with total strangers. That went exceptionally well. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, uh, I don't know why I'm yawning. I'm having fun. <laughs> so that's that quest done. Now we got this quest over here. Well, we're doing well enough on health to try it, so let's go try it. In the next episode. So the next episode, we do this quest. So be there or be a potato.